Hi guys, it's Emily from Bugaboo's Craft Corner, and today I have a tutorial for you on how to make a storyboard uh, potion tumbler. So these are some of the supplies that I use in this video, and I will link all of our supplies in the description below. So you're going to start off with a 20 ounce um, storyboard from Hog. This has three pieces to it, so you're going to want to take it apart, and you're going to want to unscrew the bottom first, and then um, the top will kind of twist, pop off. And then there is a plastic piece and two pieces of white paper. You are more than welcome to keep the paper. I just threw mine away because I knew I wasn't going to need it. And then I just put the plastic piece to the side because we don't really necessarily need that right now until later on in the video. Um, so I am decided to do a teal potion for my cup. So I am going to base paint it a teal color. And I decided to use um, the Emerald Green by Aztec in this. Um, I decided to use acrylic paint instead of um, the normal just spray painting it. One, we're not going to be glittering it. And two, I am kind of lazy and I didn't want to have to tape off my tumbler. For this so I just decided to use acrylic paints and I love the Aztec brand just because it is a thicker um, paint so a little bit goes a long way and when you're painting to keep your strokes nice and clean you want to do long um, brush strokes so that's what I'm doing here you will notice that I don't paint the bottom of my cup and I only do that because um, you're not going to be able to see it with the cap on so there's no need to really waste product by painting the bottom when you're not even going to see it. I do take my brush and I push it into the um, edge of my cup because depending on how you want to do it, you I added a drip so you wouldn't really necessarily be able to see, but I wanted it to have that look of a continuous um, line of the green and not show any of the silver. Um, so that's why I did make sure that my paint went all the way down into the cup and then um, you're just gonna want to paint your whole cup and then once it's dry um, I didn't do two coats I only did one because I do get really good coverage with this so once it's dry um, that is when we're going to um, epoxy our tumbler so we will be right back So we're back. I have my tumbler on um, my my turner, and I am using Culture DIY Facet. I do use two different epoxies in this video, but at first I use the Facet just because um, I don't like to have to wait very long. Including this is going to be a very thin coat of epoxy, and I'm just putting the epoxy on to just kind of seal in the um, acrylic paint. And you're not going to want like a lot because your lip you don't want to put too much epoxy in there because you're gonna you don't want to be able to um, still get your plastic um, top cover in so I'm just mixing about five mls here and I don't use all of it and I am going to take my epoxy to the end of the cup um, just so that there's a seal that way so when we do add our glycerin and water mixture it's not gonna get up underneath the epoxy that we already put down and then ruin it and I do take a popsicle stick which you will see in a few minutes um, to help push my epoxy up under the um, edge of the tumbler so I can get it as close of a seal as possible and 
Um, when we come back, I will show you how to fill your tumbler. Hi guys, um, I just did want to come back in here and let you guys know that sometimes you can get epoxy on your rim. So I just take a baby wipe and I let and I um, gently put it on the rim and let the spinner spin um, just to clean up the edge so that there's no um, funkiness when we're trying to put our plastic piece back on the cup and when we're trying to put everything back together. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to um, secure our plastic piece back onto our cup. So I like to do the epoxy method for this. So I just used, again, the CCDIY facet. And this one I do leave overnight um, just because I want to make sure that seal between the plastic and the lip of the cup is really tight with our epoxy. So you don't really need a lot um, because we're just going to put it inside the rim of the lip of our cup and we're going to put it um, I like to do a little bit on the outside of our plastic cup too so this is just to seal our plastic to the tumbler so that when we do put our water and glycerin in it's not going to leak so I am going to let this play out it is super simple I use a popsicle stick too um, to help push it into the um, edge of the cup and we will be right back.
now that um, I have the plastic on there, you want to make sure that you push really hard and you're going to hear a pop and that's when you know that your um, plastic piece is securely tightened into your um, tumbler. And then I just like to clean up um, whatever spills out so that if, um, so it's clean. And then that way if you decide not to decorate the outside, you have um, a nice looking clean spot. So I just take a baby wipe like I did um, when we were epoxying before and I just wipe around the edge until it's all clean and we will be back to fill it oh before I forget I did let this sit overnight and then I did a 24-hour water test um, and the water test is I just put water um, a little bit of water into the cup after it had cured overnight and then I let it sit just to make sure that my seal was good and that there was no leaking that was happening Okay, we're back, and now we're going to make our potion for our tumbler. So you're gonna want to, I um, have two different micas that I'm using. I decided to go with a teal mica, which I got off Amazon, and I'll make sure to um, list all of our um, supplies in the description below. So I use a teal mica, and I did want this to glow, but I'm pretty sure it ended up being a flop. So I did add a green to green glow powder into our mixture. But first I'm starting off by mixing my glycerin and water mixture. And I just did equal parts 50-50. Um, um, and it gave the cup a nice swirl. So you're going to want to mix that and then you're going to add, um, once you have your water and glycerin mixed together, that's when you're going to start putting in um, your micas. And you kind of just put however much your heart desires, a little does go a long way. Um, I was trying to make this glow, so I did use the um, glow in the dark from green to green glow in the dark, but um, as I finished the cup I realized that it... I believe it's not actually gonna glow so I think the next time I do this I'm gonna try it a different way um, so I just added a couple scoops of each into it and then um, you just add your mixture slowly into your cup and we'll be right back So you guys are going to want to make sure that you have enough mixture to fill up all the way to the top. So in this video, you'll see that I kind of stopped right at the edge of the tumbler and, um, uh, instead of the plastic of going all the way up. And I ended up having to tear the cup apart um, later on because I didn't have enough. So I ended up not having enough here, so I mixed some more the same way as I did before and added it to the cup. So you're gonna kinda wanna make sure that, so that you don't get a too noticeable of an air bubble, which is kind of hard, but you're kinda gonna want your cup to overflow um, when you put your lid on. So then that way you're ensuring that you're getting um, no air pockets and um, that you don't have this weird lip of where your water line ends when you flip your cup over because even though it looks like it's full like to the top when you flip it over you have um, 
that whole little part of the bottom to think about that's open. So you want to make sure that you have enough water to cover it all. And then once we have our water in, we're going to want to seal our top. So I will um, play some music while this finishes up and then we'll come back to sealing our bottom on. Okay, so now that we're back, we're going to um, put silicone onto our cup. So I use the Silicone Max, um, and you're going to want to put silicone in the middle of your cup, which I struggle right here with. And I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I am missing part of my video. Um, I went back and looked through all of them and I just can't find it so I don't know if my iPad glitched or I'm not entirely sure what happened. So I'm just going to talk us through this part. So you're going to want to put silicone in that middle um, so that you don't get water in there. Um, and I just fill it to the top and then I swipe, it, um, swipe the top off so that it's even. And then you're going to want to take in your cap there is a metal part that screws on um, you can see it where it screws on to the middle of your cup and you're going to want to put silicone in that and then I put silicone into the um, the edge of the cup and then I just screw it on and I leave it for 24 hours and then um, another portion that we're going to work on now is doing our drips so I am using the Mr. Nola's um, glass epoxy. I use this one because it has a longer work time than the fast epoxy. Plus I like using the CC DIY um, nice and thick that we're going to add. Um, so I wanted my drips to be black and I wanted them to sparkle. So first we're gonna mix up our epoxy as we normally would. And I did put us on high speed because this is kind of a process so you to get um, it nice and black I did add some black acrylic and I did use um, Mac from Bugaboo's craft corner and then I did put it in a bigger cup because I always do this so you're gonna want to take your um, mixture until it is nice and thick and you can tell it's not totally dripping down my cup and I just do a big um, section around the top of the cup and then um, make my drips go down and then I did have it go up and down and then I'm putting on my um, my decal which I got off Etsy and I will link that in the bottom below and you're just, and I just picked a section on my tumbler that I liked where the drips had a nice place for it and another part of the um, video that got deleted or where it glitched was when I was putting our chunky Big Mac from Bugaboo on the bottom of the cup so I just painted the bottom with black acrylic paint and then um, sprinkled the glitter on that way to make it stick 
And here we're putting on our final layer of epoxy. And I just put epoxy all over the cup and um, worked on the um, glitter part first since um, it didn't have any epoxy and I didn't want the glitter to be pushed up into the other part. So I work on the bottom first and get that all smoothed out to where I like it. And then um, there were a few pieces of chunky glitter that got away from me and I just used tweezers um, to push them back down. Um, I don't think I videoed that part. Um, so you can just use tweezers to push it back down or you can try and use your finger but that can get a little tedious. Um, I did spray seal my glitter but still some of the pieces ran which is totally fine. You just try and push them back down um, as best you can. And then when you're working on your um, the drip part you just kind of want to go over it and make sure that all the pieces are um, covered. Um, and you just want to kind of pull the epoxy down so that you don't get a lot of bulging or the pooling of your epoxy since it is a 3D um, aspect of the cup. And I did let it spin for a little bit and then I hit it with some heat to make sure that all the bubbles got popped um, in there. And then once I had everything smoothed out how I wanted it, that's when I went back through um, with my tweezers and pulled some of that black glitter back down that did get um, a little funky in there and pushed up kind of far and I didn't like how far it went. Um, for the effect that I was going with and um, I just let that spin and that is how you, I made my potion storyboard tumbler if you like this video please subscribe at the end thanks guys bye